Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome to another video uh, with the uh, mining station that we're working on. So, uh, right now I'm working on um, uh, action groups because I was I was cruising through the galaxy, <laughs> no, the Kerbin system actually, and I found a oh I blah, blah, blah. I was um, what do you call it the little debug toolbar I was going to different types of asteroids and stuff, even comets comments comets that's what i'm looking for uh to see uh, how this thing would operate around them and boy uh there is some biggies out there and uh, i i was not aware of just how big uh some of those uh, asteroids were uh, nowadays i guess you have to find the right size one but i was thinking this thing is supposed to be able to drill into anything so we need to go ahead and make make it so that it can drill into literally anything so i need i need a way to make these arms open up wider so they can kind of grab onto something large as well as something small yeah all right so i found a little fault with the arms they're actually folding in backwards. I need to somehow flip this whole design around. Hmm. Okay, so I'm pretty just much I'm pretty much just getting everything on the action groups here. And number seven, toggle solar panels. Whoops, next in. Toggle. There we go. Toggle, toggle, toggle. <laughs> when I told you it turns into a space station, I wasn't freaking kidding. Look at that. Look at that beast. Holy crap. And I, I would only imagine that there'd be a punk of rock right here that's holding on to and drilling in and just doing its thing. Now we're going to have to have, of course, somewhere to put ore or else, you know, it's not exactly a mining ship, is it? If it doesn't have a storage place for ore, that has a lot of nerva. All right, so we're going to work on power and we're going to work on um, storage place for ore. Lights, camera action. Woof. Okay, uh, that that took a while. Good grief. Safe. I'm glad there's such thing as action groups, or else I'd be clicking and clicking and clicking in space for it ever however the arms on, on the bottom here are designed to be you know manually maneuvered just in case there's some sort of weird terrain that it has to wrap around i can manually maneuver the arms around uh, that's a good thing so i can attach it i can attach to the um asteroid with the grappler hook and then manipulate the arms in any position i need to in order for the operation to continue i'm a little for i'm a little afraid of this arm attaching solely the entire ship to the asteroid it might not be that strong so here's hoping you know here is hoping although i could probably put like additional ones yeah i think that's what i'll do i'll put additional hooks onto the ends of the uh, arms of uh, so that way it not only has a central point but maybe also it can tag on other sides like if i if i make it like same vessel interaction maybe it'll interact with the um asteroid that it's attached to hopefully now i realize that this symbol says demolition enterprises uh I have yet to make my own flag for some sort of mining operation but it looked cool because it had the whole caution tape thing going on in the name emblem stuff yeah yeah this is gonna have to be battery heaven oh yeah she's gonna have some serious capacity and i do mean serious i mean that's enough don't you think that's a lot of battery power you hungry you want to order something? Okay, we'll make something. 
You don't want to order and you don't want to cook. So what's... I don't know, baby. Maybe if you hold your hands out and wish, it might help. <laughs> I, you know what? That would be the best power ever. <laughs> Okay, so looking good so far. We've got, we've pretty much got everything. We got the escape pods, ore, power, and uh, I mean, damn, <laughs> it's, it's looking pretty good. Now, each escape pod can only carry three Kerbals, which means this thing is a maximum of a crew of six. Um, it looks like it could do so much more, have like a crew of 12 at least. But in the Kerbal universe, uh, it's a very small universe, so six is fine. And if ever I actually want to add more, there's plenty of room to put another escape pod up there and double the numbers. But six is fine for now, especially with part count already up there and 456 part count. Yikes. Let's make sure that they're not just gonna fly out and crash back into the ship. That's an idea. And technically it's close to the um, crew cabin and everything, right? Whoa! Okay. Interesting, really bad wobble down there. Hmm. I'm sure I can stop it just by grabbing like this piece and then uh, auto strut. And that will pretty much hold it good. But I'm going to have to remember to un-auto strut it before we engage it. Alright, begin mining operations. Let's do this. Oh boy, I hope this works. Cross your fingers, F5. In three, two, one. Okay, so the torque needs to be brought down just a teeny bit. Just a teeny bit, I would say. Number three. What? Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, it's uh, just. There we go. No problems here. Oh shit! It's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow. Uh, I'm getting. I'm getting a lot of. Getting a lot of lag here. <sighs> Jeez. Finally, Jamie, Merry Christmas. It's gonna kind of have to dig into it. <laughs> all right, all right. Look at that. Look at that, fellas. Look at that. Okay, uh, number five has been done. I want to say six. Hit F five first, and here we go. Jay, man, Christmas. What in the hell? Mm, traverse rate's gonna have to be brought down to a minimum of nothing. It's ridiculous. Looks like I missed one, too. Okay, something's not right. Why are you controlling that one? <sighs> I'm so confused as to why it's controlling one and not the other. Alright, so for some reason, that doesn't want to work. Thank you, KSP, for nothing. Why isn't it letting me do it? Maybe I broke it. Hmm, might be too close to the, uh, might be too close to the asteroid. Oh, you know what I also forgot? I forgot to put uh, radiators on this. Whoops. Okay, well, I mean, I would love to work on it some more because of the fact of all this, but I'm all out of time, and it really sucks that I'm all out of time because I, I would like to fix this. So I have no idea what's going on with that piston, but damn you, KSP. 
I'll figure it out some other time. Uh, but this is really awesome. I'm loving it. I'm digging it. It's it's cool as hell. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's freaking cool as hell, man. That's so cool. Except for this part. Damn you, KSB. <laughs> <laughs> Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Remember to share, like, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. It really helps me out even just to share and like. Just to share and like. You don't have to subscribe. I'm not, I'm not worthy of subscriptions. But if you just share it and like it, that would be so much help. And uh, before we go, let's test out the, uh, let's test out the escape pod systems in uh, uh, 3, 2, 1, abort. Oh no. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Definitely some kinks. All right. See you later, everybody. Love you all. Take care. And bye bye. Like, share, and subscribe. Click the button on the bottom left. Do it. Do it now.